Arrest documents revealing disturbing new details about the husband and wife arrested after their dogs mauled an elderly man to death on the southwest side. Last night at 5, we told you police had arrested 31-year-old Abilene Schneider five days after the arrest of her husband, Christian Moreno. They're now both facing the same charges for last Friday's attack. According to her arrest warrant affidavit, police say Schneider and her husband had been breeding their dogs, training them to be aggressive using meat. Investigators saying she was also recorded having conversations with her husband about how dangerous the dogs had become. The couple remains behind bars tonight and their dogs have been put down, but city officials say animal care services knew the pit bulls involved in the attack had a violent past. However, the couple was allowed to keep those dogs because previous victims did not fill out a state mandated form. As News 4's Jordan Elder explains, lawmakers are proposing new changes to make sure dogs like this are reported and then fully investigated so future tragedies can be prevented. The process for how you can report a dangerous dog coming under fire after an elderly man was mauled to death last week. An affidavit was not filed, therefore we could not move forward with that dangerous dog designation. It's not a new issue. Director Shannon Sims tells us many people don't want to stir up drama by filing an affidavit when they get attacked. But that's the only way the city can investigate dangerous dogs. That would have pitted me against my neighbor and no telling what kind of retaliation. It continues to escalate the situation when they cite them. Some residents across the city tell us more people would be likely to file the affidavit if they could do it anonymously. That's the point of State Senator Jose Menendez's new legislation. People don't want to get involved if they think it's going to cause them personal repercussions. That's why we feel that having an anonymous ability to file these affidavits will help people in situations when they're already scared. Menendez also wants to make it easier for people to file these reports and notarize them. City leaders say they support the new efforts. If somebody was allowed to give that anonymous affidavit, perhaps this uh, gentleman, older gentleman wouldn't have been killed. But this small change could lead to a big influx of reports, and ACS says they're already struggling with staffing. We asked Councilwoman Melissa Cabello Haverda what the city can do to prepare. What we need to do is really look at how competitive we're being as far as pay, as far as benefits. This legislation is still in the drafting phase. Menendez met with city manager Eric Walsh this week to ask about other changes that could be made, but he wants to get his bill submitted as soon as possible.